Hi everyone, this is Monica with Simply Cricketing and today's tutorial is how to use Shortcuts a Lot 3 with your new Cameo. Okay, so let's go here. This is the uh, snapshot of my screen and here I have my Shortcuts a Lot 3 application so I'm going to click on that to open it. What's nice about having Scout 3 is I get to keep Scout 2 when I upgrade it because it upgraded in a different folder so that's nice to have. I'm going to maximize my window and I'm going to click on my view and hit fit to window so I can see the whole map which is the 12 by 12 cameo map. Now what you want to do is you want to import an SVG and this is any SVG. So you go here to this icon where it says SVG import, click on that and I'll show you how I have it. On my desktop I have a folder called SVG printables, that's how I organized it. And then I organize them by company name. So like I have my graphical, letter and delights. I have from the DG Bistro. So today I'm gonna use an SVG file from letter and delight. So I'm double, double click on that one. And I'm going to use a cut set called holiday lights. Click on cut it. And then you go to SVG. Okay. Now here it's gonna open all the files that you have under this SVG cut it file okay then these are all Christmassy merry and bright really really cute for military and delights I think they were on sale for like a dollar so I'd go and check it out but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the snowman here he's really cute I'm gonna make some thank you snow much cards and I'm using him as my main point so there he is on my screen now while I have him highlighted I'm gonna come here to the right hand side of my screen under properties you're gonna wanna click key proportion and I'm gonna change his height to 4.0 and click enter and he's gonna grow just a little bit okay now since I am not doing print and cut today I'm just doing cut only I'm going to use my own paper and my own colors so I wanna break him apart so I can add the different layers around the mat so highlight him right click and hit ungroup Okay, now you can move his layers. So you just want to place them around the mat anywhere you'd like. I'm going to put my here, my little carrot nose. And now here, if you noticed, I moved the white layer. There's a white and a black layer. What I realized is the white layer, all it cuts, it's the same cut as the black layer, but it cuts out the two circles for the eyes. So I figured I can just cut out the black layer in white and draw my eyes in. So I'm, I don't need to waste paper that way. Okay, so there it is. So I have my, he's gonna be white. This will be another color. This will be a coordinated color. And here we have the layers for the mittens and his little beanie. Now, since I like to save paper, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna highlight all of them, right click and hit ungroup. Now I can move these layers up closer here. So I don't need a big, huge, sheet of paper okay that looks good and now so if I can move all of them I'm gonna highlight all of them right click and hit group and now you can move all of them together wherever you like okay now all you have to do is get your paper ready on your mat and you're gonna go up here to this icon with the scissors and it's cut with the cutter and you just have to make sure your model is your cameo you have a blade holder if you're doing cut your material is cardstock and it's going to change the speed and the pressure and then you're going to click on cut and it's going to send it to your cameo.